of this hat or am I having a bad hair day? The answer is both. Um, so I didn't um, want to make my hair all pretty for a video. Um, not that that's my style or I would do that anyways. Um, but so here is the kindergarten and first grade curriculum video. Um, I kind of struggled making it because we don't always do curriculum for him. So uh, some weeks we do and some weeks we don't. So um, and mostly that's because um, of the motto of better late than early. Um, I think there's a book. Um, so I hadn't planned on starting any formal schooling with Everett until he was around seven or eight years old, but he's six. He turned six in March and he really wanted to do some schoolwork. So we just kind of put a little bit of things together for him. And uh, so this is basically what we do. I will be doing another video showing you, actually I'm gonna film it right after this, um, so that I can make sure I get the videos up this week. Um, what, what our, how we schedule for the week and for the year. For the year, you'll be incredibly, incredibly unimpressed. For the week, uh, you'll be like, oh, that's it, it's so simple, because I like simple and easy and minimalist. So, that being said, I will show you what we are using, what our tools are for this year for him. Um, our goal this year is just to make sure that he has fun, um, and he has his own goal. He said, mommy, I wanna read chapter books. Okay, uh, sure, buddy. Let's just, let's, so we'll, yeah. So I'm teaching him some phonics. He, um, I don't know if I can insert a little video. He started reading when he was around two and he knew all of his letters and letter sounds, uppercase, lowercase, uh, differentiation when he was around, what's that video? He was maybe 14, 16 months old. He was really little and we didn't even know he could do that. I just was like, hey, he knew that letter. I wonder if he knows any others. He knows all of them. He knew all of them. He was really little, it was weird. And it freaked me out. So he'll probably be teaching me in about five years. I don't know, my kid's gonna be smarter than me. Um, so while that sounds cool, it's actually kind of terrifying because I'm like, I don't know what to, what to teach you. So um, he's learning phonics because he's never learned phonics. Um, he's always just memorized words and he reads, he memorizes very large words and then he reads the books that he's memorized by himself. I don't know how he does it. I, I don't know how he does it. His brain works differently than mine, clearly. Um, now I started reading early too. I think I was, I was three when I started reading and then Laurel, I was four when she started reading um, and Aubrey is um, a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, she's just like my husband. Uh, my husband has uh, trouble with reading and he always has. Uh, when he was in public school, he was kind of just shuffled along and no one really helped him learn how to read. Um, they were still giving him like little, like, see Sam run, you know, uh, when he was in like middle school. Um, they weren't really helping him learn how to read in public school. So, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. So, um, this has been three minutes. Oh my gosh. So just, just go watch all the things that we use and maybe I'll come back at the end. Okay, so here's a look at everything that we've been using for um, our kindergarten slash first grade for Everett. Now, Everett is six. He turns six in, uh, at the end of March, March 31st. And we don't do... Uh, we don't do formal schooling um, through the typical kindergarten age. We don't do preschool, so nothing at three, four, five years old. Um, I actually was going to wait for him until he was around seven or eight, but he wanted to start doing some schooling and he wanted to be like his big sisters. So this is what we got for him, and I'm just going to show you um, each piece by piece. So I'm going to start in the center. This is new. We actually just are starting in this this week. This is uh, Creative Form Drawing with Children, ages age six to 10, workbook one. Um, it's by Angela Lord. It's a huge book. I mean, very large size book. Um, so it's, it's a pretty pricey book. I think it's $45 new, but I got it used. Um, and it's actually in great condition. There's only one little nick there, but yeah. So I'm gonna show you inside. And actually all three are using this this week. Um, I just read some really cool things that happen to your brain when you engage in, in form drawing. So we're gonna be doing this with the kiddos. So it has how to use the book and everything. And then it's divided into three parts and it'll show you for the ages. And so Everett will start doing this one this week. Easy, but it's good for him. So, and the girls will start. Um, 
because we when we did a lot of Waldorfy things, we did um, we just kind of went with the flow of form drawing and just things that I found on uh, YouTube and uh, Pinterest and just Google searching. But so the girls will start in the center for um, I think the seven to eight year olds, and then they'll do the nine to ten year old stuff. I just this book is really pretty to look at. <laughs> And so they're going to do them in booklets that I got on Amazon, and I will link everything in the blog post. So um, this is not what they're using for the form drawing, but I have these booklets where it's line on one side and blank on the other, like Waldorf books and stuff. These are cheaper, so I got these. So since I showed you that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to language arts for Everett. Okay, so we... Um, You've seen our video on the Good and the Beautiful Kindergarten, and uh, we did start using that. Um, I don't feel like he's developmentally quite ready for that, so we're taking just a short break, probably through the summer, and then we'll pick back up with that this fall, this autumn. So right now what we're doing is, and I thought I had ordered the hardcover book. I like the hardcover version better, but whatever, we'll use this. So this is the McGuffey's, Eclect McGuffey's Eclectic Primer, or Primer. Um, so it has the alphabet in the front if you haven't seen these. These are old school and I love them because you know what, they work. <laughs> so we use the symbols, let me see, here to teach the sounds that they make uh, for long uh, vowels and short vowels and hard sounds and soft sounds for like G and stuff. So and it progresses like that. So we're using this, but we're also using explode the code one. Now, Everett's never, this is his first foray with um, phonics training. He's actually been able to read since he was about two. Um, and he reads rather large words, but he doesn't sound things out. He just memorizes large words and then he can read. Um, so he learns by whole word, that's the way his brain works. But, so we just started at level one with phonics. And even though he knows the sounds of all of his uh, letters, he really likes doing this little workbook. Um, and it helps him learn to sound things out, especially these exercises, and there's a lot of these in here. So that, and then in each section you pick the sound that comes next, so that it helps him, because I don't think he'll be able to memorize all the words in the world. So um, we're gonna teach him some phonics so that he can kinda grasp that. And these are inexpensive, I think they're like $6. And I think this book is too. So what we're using this one for, it's already gonna stain on the cover, but, um, this is Everett's journal. So this is his daily journal. So what he'll do every morning um, is he draws a picture, whatever he wants, and then he just tells me about it. And I actually remember doing these when I was in um, preschool and kindergarten. I completely vividly remember um, drawing in a little spiral notebook and then we would each sit with our teacher um, and she was at, um, in a rocking chair and we would just dictate to her what our drawing was about. So I thought that was cool, so we do that. Whew, I'm out of breath. Why am I always out of breath in these videos? Probably because I talk too much. I need some stuff. All right, for science, it's just basic nature study and playing outside, and I read this book. And we're going through all of them. This is the Burgess Seashore book for children, and all three of my kids love this. Yes, my six-year-old, my 10-year-old, and my 12-year-old, who is almost in high school, loves me reading these uh, stories to them. I didn't hunt down the vintage ones because I'm not gonna spend that much on book right now. Um, so these are fine, these work just great. And the stories are awesome. And they uh, learn about different animals in them, so that's great. And we're also reading this, Parables from Nature, and this is like science crossing over into Bible. So um, I did get the vintage book version of this one, it was only like $9 or something. So, and this is just, so it goes through like a little story about an animal, and then it goes into like a similar uh, Bible story lesson and it has the verse reference. So these are really short little chapters and all three of my kids really love these too, all three. So I highly recommend that. I think it's a Charlotte Mason book or something, I can't remember, like one of her recommended reads. Okay, Bible. He has this story with Bible and let me show you what it looks like on the inside because I love this Bible, it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, we're starting it this week. Since you just started school. Yeah. So 
So we're using this this week, and I'll just read him a little story out of it every day. He's also doing, um, our church gave us a login, our old church before we moved here, gave us a login for Right Now Media, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Call your church, talk to someone at your church, youth groups, use them, and see if you can get a login for it, because it's absolutely worth it. Um, so it has stuff for adults, teens, tweens, kids, and they have uh, programs on there, and we watch the, um, what's it called? Superbook. Superbook. Yes, we love Superbook. Now the membership for Superbook is like $30 a month or something like that. that I just find it to be a, a little pricey. But we do love their product, so um, they have them on um, on Right Now Media. Let's see. And last, ever, no, no. Mommy's doing the video, okay. Go play. Okay. Last but not least, math. This is mostly last. Pretty much last of the academic looking stuff. Okay, so we are using Matthew C. Primer uh, forever. And um, so he doesn't do all the lessons because this is pretty basic, but I wanted him to get used to the curriculum since I'm pretty sure we're just gonna use this all the way through. If we weren't using this, we would use um, Math Lessons Through Living Education. I think I just butchered that name. I'll link it, but um, it looks really, really good. And I've been following the author for many, many years, and she's awesome. So um, he just skips through. If something's easy, we skip two or three lessons and, and move on. Um, but yeah, that's been awesome. And then um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that finance is really important to us for our kids to learn. This is the Dave Ramsey's uh, Financial Peace Junior. And the girls are doing, um, what is that? Personal foundations and personal finance for middle school. So Everett's doing this one. And I just realized in his notebook we forgot to do that this past Friday. So we do finance on Friday, finance Friday, and I'll do a video on our schedule. But so here's financial piece. It comes in a little pack, and I can't show you all the things because they're everywhere. So the the chore chart it comes with is on the fridge and stuff like that. So and it comes with these little pouches. As you can see, Everett spend one is empty, but his saved one has money in it. So he's pretty excited about that. So he's saving up for some cool things. What are you saving up for, buddy? Uh, I'm saving it for Xbox and a headset. And Xbox. We're a PlayStation family. My husband is like, what? So I'm just going to show you some of the materials. These are the Falana crayons. These are the best crayons ever, ever, ever. And you can, can you guess which color is Everett's favorite color? <laughs> which favorite color? What color? This one. What's this one? It's red. It's red. What color shirt are you wearing right now? Red. Red. All right. So these are the best crayons ever. We have the block crayons and the stick crayons, and they're way better than, we used to use Crayola, but want want these are way better, and they last longer. So this wooden uh, crayon holder thing, um, I will link in the blog post. It's from Etsy. Um, it's handmade, it's awesome. You've already probably seen the video um, on Palumbo, and if you haven't, I'll link that below. But this is the, um, we do the primary colors, so it's blue, this is supposed to be yellow, but he put some blue in there. And red. And then this is the water jar. And so we just used some paint brushes. Actually, I should go get that because it's a big one. I'll go Anyways, with them. Oh, I need the big fluffy paintbrush, the mop brush. Um, so we got the primary colors instead of the six set because I wanted him to practice mixing colors and learn basic color theory. I hope that's right, more verbiage. Anyways, we also have this, it's really cheap, but this is the best thing ever. This is, I think it's like five dollars, and this is like a bucket of so here and there, buttons, and the kids play with these, and they they entertain themselves. You, you saw a while back on uh, Instagram stories, the kids play with these for a while. And I remember in a preschool, I really loved playing with a large, giant jar of mismatched buttons my teacher had, and so <laughs> kind of nostalgic for me. So that's what we got. Oh, yeah, these. Thank you, Everett. These are the mop brushes that my kids use. And we use these on giant art paper that I got from a supply company. And I'll link that to you if you guys wanna know about that. It's not like a school supply, really. We just love painting, so. But for Everett, these big mop brushes are on Amazon. They're awesome. Let me see if I can show you real quick the paper. The paper's huge. It is huge. So, I can't remember the exact dimensions of this paper. But I think you get the gist. It almost covers up our the width of our coffee table here. So, and this we made with like watercolor and um, salt, sea salt. So yeah, it's huge paper and super thick, durable watercolor paper. And I might, I don't know, I might wallpaper a wall with those in the hallway or something. So last supply that we use 
are these color pencils. These are the Furby, Super Furbies Lyra uh, pencils. So we have the, um, the, I guess the regular colors, and then we have skin tones, and this comes in handy for um, history and drawing, uh, coloring the people and stuff on his little pages. I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's all we use for that. Um, a few additional little fun things. So we um, have these play silks. They were super cheap on Amazon. Um, all three of my kids play with them, um, and they love them. And they use their imagination to pretend this one's fire, and they put up their little tents and go camping. Inside. And then, yeah, we go camping inside. It's fun. They're not really outside in the night. And then we have, this is Everett's little portfolio. So whenever we do something in history, so for history and stuff, he just listens along. And if they have a little sheet for his like first to third grade, this is the good and the beautiful, he just paints it. And he listens to the audio stories and he listens to me read. So I, I didn't show you an official curriculum for him because we, we don't do that uh, for his age. So and we help him draw and stuff, but yep, you painted that. And so he, um, Blue Jay. yeah, so he Blue likes doing Jay. this stuff. And this one he did actually, in our local science class EMA, Ecological Marine Adventures, and they were learning about sea turtles, so he drew that in class. So we just laminate and put them in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're also gonna be using these little Waldorfy type books. <sighs> All right, well, a little bit of breath. Did you get the book? <laughs> oh, I mean, no, I got it all. Um, we do use a DVD, and we do have the manipulatives for Matthew's sake. So basically, yeah. for Everett, it's reading, math, Bible. The rest is play, and, pretty much. Finance is important, so we do we do lots of finance things. So that's about it. You want to say anything, Everett? No, I'm good. You're good. I like your red shirt, buddy. He's like, Mom, take the camera off me right now. <laughs> All right, photographer kid problems. All right, so I think that's about it, and I will write up the blog post and then get this uh, posted for you. Okay, so one final little thing. I did want to show you guys a closer look at these little book lists that I got. These are like five and a half by eight, eight and a half maybe? I don't know. They're like book size, little folded book size. So I got these on Amazon. I had the lady custom make them um, just in case you guys wanted to buy some too, so she made a listing. So these are handmade. Um, and I'm sure I can make them myself, but honestly, I just can't do everything, okay? I just can't. So I got the Shades of Blue set. I think she has a green one and... I think a pink one I and mean a yellow one maybe. Um, so these are, I don't know if the colors are coming up. So it's like a turquoise. I feel like these colors aren't quite picking up. Let me see. Okay, the four different shades of blue. They're really pretty. And since our school's called Oceanside Christian Academy, yeah. So I just wanna show you how she, how she put these together for me. So I told her that I wanted like one side of the paper to be lined so that my kids could write little, um, I almost said dissertation, that's not the word. Dictations, there we go. And then they could illustrate on the side. So if we do this for a little bit of, um, so they're gonna be using this for form drawing and maybe little science lessons that we do um, that we're not doing art notebooking pages on because they've just about filled up their composition books. So we might just start doing these because they pack away nicely and they take up a little space, uh, only a little space. So, mm -hmm. so just as it's playing with the buttons and he learned something today <laughs> he told me so I learned how to do this today cool keep going so that's what they look like and they have gosh I don't know how many sheets in it like maybe I should count them yeah. anyways I'll put I'll put a link to these books so you guys can check those out if you want to so they're awesome and you get uh, 12 in a pack so for my three kids they each get four and there's four different colors so that worked out perfectly guess I shouldn't have any more children all right so that's it Thanks for watching.